Hello, I'm, going to, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 10th of December to the 16th of December. So let's start with the Sunday the 10th and the morning afternoon periods for you are not very good. You have this sense of ego, sense of being very criticizing about everything, sense of wanting to be arrogant. If you allow these things to happen, you're going to get a miserable morning and afternoon Sunday. So be the opposite, be the supporting one, the appreciated one, be a person who likes and says thank you about whatever is done for you, be somebody like that. You can meet very important people in the morning afternoon period it's said and so you want to be receiving them, receiving them humbly and not receiving them showing that you can be on top of the world as well and be arrogant. That way you will spoil the morning and afternoon periods, make them even worse. And whatever you do, blame can come very easily. So watch out what you say and what you do in the morning afternoon periods. Evening and nightfall period turns much, much better. Your sense of communication is better. Your marketing areas are better. So mix business and pleasure. I see business planets here. So mix business and pleasure and you will be able to kill two birds with one stone. Not that we want to kill any birds, but you'll be able to get the best of two worlds with, uh, with one attempt. And so look forward to your evening nightfall session. Be out with the people. Just go and be out with your bosses or with your colleagues. Contact your business people if you are in business. An enhancement, a betterment can be made waiting for you and you can have a very good time as well. Monday the 11th for you starts not well at all. It's really down up to the level of 70%. Now it's up to you not to let it get worse. It's up to you to improve it. So there are a couple of planets that bring bad news for you at work or bad news in business if you're in business. And also your family areas, your marriage area, your romance area will be down. Something's gone wrong. And so the last thing you want is to show your temper, to be show how forceful you are, how strong you are, how you want to control it. Don't. It will only make it worse and worse and worse. End of the day, because it's your horoscope I'm reading, you can be the victim. And so the last thing you want to do is to lose friends and lose support on this 11th of a Monday. Now the evening nightfall session improves a lot. So you may find solutions in the evening nightfall period where you couldn't in the earlier part of the day. You are going to meet very helpful people in the evening nightfall period. These good planets are also a little active in the morning afternoon but they can't do much. They are being pushed around so they give you little bits of here and there goodness then they move away. But the continuity of this goodness is seen in the evening nightfall period. So look your best, dress your best, go out with wherever you want to be noticed, go out with the people who can help you and you will find a wonderful evening and nightfall of Monday the 11th. But remember that the negative planners have also the right to go in the evening period. They will try and create some mischief as well. Tuesday the 12th, another very bad beginning of a day and things are going to go wrong extremely for you. Things are going to be at a state where trouble with your bosses, trouble even with the government department, trouble with all kinds of people who are in charge. And you yourself will feel easily intimidated and lose your self-confidence. You are going to feel quite lost where, wherever you are in the morning and afternoon periods of Tuesday the 12th. So rather than project yourself follow other people's advice, follow other people's actions, stay under their umbrella for safety. That way the hours will pass and not much damage will be seen. But bad news is seen for you in one way or another, in the job area, in the business area and even in personal areas. It's all possible, it's not only a question of how strong you can control it. Evening and nightfall period also not good. And so you will feel let down, you will feel played out, you will basically feel disappointed even in the evening nightfall period. And even accidents can take place during the whole day or even in the evening nightfall period. And so be careful if you are out socializing, the wrong things said and things get very bad, wrong things done and again not good. I would rather you just go back home because you are going to be very tired and you're going to be very disturbed and if you have already have made plans for socializing it's going to be more of a burden 
Wednesday the 13th is 24 hours waiting to give you all the good news. So plan all the important things you want to do in your job, in your business, in your romance area, in your friendship area, in your shopping area. Plan it for this Wednesday the 13th. You'll get a good deal in anything, any area of your life. Morning, afternoon, you'll do very well with inventive ideas. Others will be surprised how vibrant you are at your place of work. And you'll get all the support from your bosses. And in business, you will see how inventive you are and how you can get any little problems of the day before to be resolved. So also in business and job, is going to do very well morning, afternoon. Evening time, the planners get even better and they produce immense luck of meeting somebody very helpful, of meeting somebody who can give you good news for betterment of job or even business or love affairs or anything. So test your luck in all areas. You'll come back very happy with it. Thursday the 14th starts very well and it's going to end very well again. Another 24 hours given to you. So you'll make a lot of progress in all areas of life, morning and afternoon. There are business planners there. Communicate, show off your marketing plans, show off how you can do things for your job areas, for the business areas. One way or another, dividends are going to come your way. So be active, be daring, be courageous, be definitely full of confidence. Things are going to work out for you. There are also planners there that want to give you a better life and help you to reach your determination levels. Evening nightfall also very good. So you can socialize, mix business and pleasure, be with the people who matter to you and everything becomes a beautiful bonding. So what a wonderful day and it's going to end so brilliantly for you as well. We'll go to now Friday 15 which starts very well, very good. Place of work, place of business, things going very well, plenty of good news, you get all the benefits, you get the rewards, you get the perks and whatever you say and do is very well received. You can get good news about promotion, good news about more money one way or another. Love affairs, chase for them if you want a love affair and you will get very good news in the morning afternoon session. Evening nightfall, there's a planet of ego. You are either so pumped up with what you could get in the morning afternoon and you're so pumped up and that makes you arrogant, don't do that because you will spoil everything. And as the evening comes, the nightfall comes, this planet of arrogance, arrogance makes you a difficult person, makes you an uncooperative person, makes you basically one who criticizes other people and people will think they are looking at the true colors of you, which they are not. You are a very compassionate person, I know. And so don't show these negative traits of arrogance Sometimes you do that to actually hide your weaknesses. Don't, it's not necessary. So don't get arrogant in that way and you will be able to enjoy your evening nightfall much, much better. Saturday the 16th is totally uh, not a good day. Morning, afternoon, you get all these letdowns, all these disappointments. There can be accidents as well. Accidents can be emotional, they can be mental, not only physical. And so you are not in a good mood, not in a good happy state. You can be cheated, you can be let down in any area of your life. So don't believe too much what people say. Try to keep control on all situations by yourself. Be cooperative because you need things to get better. Evening nightfall gets even worse. And now the moodiness, the sadness all creeps in. The feeling of hopelessness creeps in. A tendency to feel lonely creeps in. Well, go out. Go out with people. Try not to expect too much. That's the best advice I can give you. Because the more you expect, the more you will feel you are not getting that. So go out and be open-minded and be with people and say to yourself, I am not going to expect anything, I'm going to enjoy myself, I want to make good context so that on another day I can use this good context. So think ahead and you can enjoy yourself that way and make your evening nightfall a bit, bit better. And so I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 5 zero for a 90 minute Skype session. And that Skype session will depend on your date of birth and your time of birth and looking at your palms. And with all that, I'll be wanting to help you for your next five or six years. 
to get the best out of them. And so go to Skype, go to Facebook, send me a message to make contact with me, send me an email and let's get down to it to, so that I can make your next five or six years in all areas of your life the best possible. Well, until then, thank you and good luck.